Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. My name is Saiken and I want to invite you to um, join me in the third retaliation mission of this run. By the way, it's an unmodded uh, run where we are trying to beat the game with only two soldiers per mission. Um, and um, yeah, there are a lot of retaliation missions uh, during this run. This is month four and we're already in the third retaliation mission. And quite frankly, the only two that could um, that we could field are uh, Dragonover and Edgallion Poe. So far, a pretty successful team. Um, the good part about uh, using both of them in this mission is the following. It's not a Haven Assault mission, which means uh, we are simply forced to rescue six um, of uh, the civilians. And Dragonova, with her ability to um, have uh, her improved stealth, can actually sneak up, rescue them without being uh, discovered. So that's interesting because other uh, in in opposition to other uh, activities such as hacking or marking crates uh, that blows your cover, rescuing civilians actually doesn't because it's not an active action. The only thing that would uncover you is effectively being uh, next to a faceless one. We need to prevent that, uh, so it's a bit of a numbers game. Uh, 14 civilians, uh, two of which are going to be faceless ones. So we're looking at um, a 2 out of 14 chance every single time. And yeah, we need to be a bit lucky. And wow, speaking about being lucky, look at that. I absolutely love the Continental Bonus. Look at that. We uh, got ourselves another... Um, a trooper on this uh, mission. It's still from the A uh, African um, continent bonus, which is just so extremely valuable. Moving up with Dragonova. This here is a beautiful remote start, by the way, uh, in case anyone ever moves there. Secondly, this here is a very aggressive move. Uh, I was I was afraid that that might uh, happen because berserkers are a real problem for us. Location confirmed. So as yeah, this here is an interesting spot, but it would be too dangerous. Let's position ourselves instead right here. Again, we want to stay out of uh, line of sight at the moment. The civilian here seems to be the target of them. Dong Huan has been killed. So in case Dragonova would be spotted out, we do have teamwork in order to let her move away. Let's hope that this here is actually a civilian. It is. Good. We're two out of six. Let's continue to move. Three out of six. Let's not overwatch, uh, because long watch would mean we would trigger the pack. And again, a bit of uh, knowledge bomb here from my side, for those of you who aren't aware. The way that um, the missions uh, work is, uh, if no pack is triggered, there's going to be one shot at the civilians every single time after the first round. Okay, So one civilian dies every single round. Um, that happened, one's dead, and, and it continues to spiral from here. For every additionally triggered pack, every single um, alien in the pack could either target civilians or target uh, XCOM soldiers, which means if you trigger a pack with three, all of a sudden you increase uh, the chance from one to four um, uh, potential enemies taking shots at civilians, so which, as you can already tell, is quite uh, quite severe. So you want to make sure that you stay hidden. The cool part about Dragonova is she doesn't trigger the packs, and we do not want long uh, shot to actually trigger packs. So we're going for pistol overwatch, 
and we're going for a normal overwatch just to make sure the, that in case we are actually triggering something uh, that we could take overwatch shots. Problem with the faceless ones is you never know which um, of uh, them are the faceless ones. Okay, so they were moving into this direction, which kind of indicates they want to go for this guy here, right? So, I mean, you've seen they move to here. Not sure if this here is going to be a faceless one. That's a bit the problem. They weren't specific, I mean, they were running from here to here, so it could have been also moved to this uh, target. So the AI will steer to, because they do not know that we see them, so they quite literally move to the next potential target. The Berserker wants to kill something. Mm. So yeah, we got two civilians here and a civilian, and we're three out of six. Might as well continue. Roll the dice. This is no place for you. There we go. Roll the good old dice. One, two, three. As you order, Commander. Next turn, I'm going to choose whom we're liberating. For now, let's just overwatch. All right, they are moving to this guy here. There's another uh, civilian dying, okay. What um, surprises me a little bit is these three here, okay. Haven't been touched at all. Matter of fact, they were just moving away. So you never know. Might as well be coincidence. Moving, out. moving up. Get out of here. Nice. Five out of six. Come on, come on. One more. One more. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? This here is almost too good to pass by. On the other hand, I am afraid if I'm now moving, uh, since I don't have movement actions left, Dragonova can't really move away. If we're being caught out here, uh, that pretty much sucks because uh, just moving in even further would trigger this pick and so on and so forth. So Dragonova actually like positions herself up here, okay? And let's see who you tell me. the last pack is going, uh, where, where that, uh, where that uh, group is going. A little bit of patience here. We're still okay from the from from the chances. Okay, they want this guy. Oh, Stun Lancer. All right, we know that hadn't been a faceless one. Okay. I'm pretty sure one of the faceless ones is uh, this guy here, because uh, he had been completely ignored so far. Um, all right. Come on, baby. Roll the dice. My life is in your hands. Nice. So good. Good. All right, we're still overwatching for now. It now it's time to start um, thinning the enemy ranks. Sorry for the remaining civilians.
Good news is uh, only the faceless ones will uh, remain. So remote start. Both of these are options. Moving to take a better overview. Uh, this here is an option as soon as someone steps into the uh, the proximity. I see everything. Question is, do we want to activate a pack already? One thing that we could do is we could actually go for the purifier and activate that pack. It's not much uh, he could do against us, I suppose. And it's an easy pack to start with, so let's go. All right, killed him. And uh, the sectoid is um, activated, moves into the range where we could uh, where we could uh, remote start him. Advent officer. All right, uh, I think we're going to remote start because the sector would die. So would the uh, zombie. It's a bit of a waste, I feel, because this uh, car here could be so much more. Well, we could also try to just kill the sector. Let's try that and keep the remote start. There we go. Outrider just uh, stays where she is. There we go, that's uh, the moment we were looking for. Time for a nice little remote start. This uh, civilian here, by the way, is a faceless one. We are reloading. Just normal overwatch. Need to take care of those guys here. Moving and repositioning. Soon our prey will fall. Uh, if we were to just uh, explode it, that wouldn't be the worst uh, decision. I was thinking the alternative is teamwork and give Dragonova uh, an extra action so she can explode it. Uh, but I think I'm just going to use uh, the standard sniper rifle 
This will deal eight points of them. Wait a second. Yeah, I think it won't deal more damage uh, because Dragonova shooting at it, it will deal the exact same amount of damage. Unfortunately, that means um, we are only killing one, but gravely injuring three of them. Which I suppose is okay. And given that the Berserk might end up in Blind Rage... And given that the Berserk might end up in Blind Rage, he might even take those two. Berserk is the only uh, target available for us. Can't remote start anything else. Okay. Fair enough. Let's continue hitting the Berserk. Which is finally enraged. We are overwatching, and I think El uh, Elena Outrider is just going to stay here, uh, continues to overwatch. It blind rages and killed one of them. Are you shitting me? How did he even know that we were there? Let's take another shot. There we go. Okay. Scary Berserker moves up. And our reaction uh, to that is we're going to move up as well. And we're going to take a shot. Finally killing it. Dragonova moves closer. Oops. Watching comes naturally. What? All right, that's bad news. Well, it's like really, 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 really bad news. Hmm. Okay, so we need to make sure that we actually play this right. Moving up. OK, 
Okay. Um. Again, moving up here. This operative is expand uh, ex is expandable. Edgar Alien Poe kills the stun lancer. We're then looking into the teamwork. Edgar Allan Poe, by the way, is in cover, which means anyone moving up here will first prioritize our expendable uh, troop. Uh, and we're using the flashbang grenade uh, to prevent the Berserk from reaching us. Plus a high chance that the trooper will actually miss us as well. Other than that, I think we need to really move as far as we can towards the target. And that's the end of our turn. Getting a little toasty here. Nice little double move. Twenty-eight points of damage. Well, that's uh, a lot of hit points. We need to deal with the berserk one way or the other, or we're not going to make the mission. So this is probably the crux of the entire mission. And once we're done with this, this uh, the rest should be way, way more easy. If we were to just lit quite literally charge away. We could position ourselves uh, near this explosive um, car. We could also just rescue Edgar Alien Poe and uh, play with the one operative plus our um, plus Dragonover. It's probably the safest bet to not fail the mission. Gosh. Problem is we, we don't have another flashbang grenade and he will not be disoriented uh, for one more turn. Actually they can move quite a, uh, quite a bit so he will probably be able to catch up. Unless we are sacrificing our operative here we are in a pretty dire situation and since we've called the Sky Ranger, we can't just recall it next turn. So it's unfortunate that we don't have lightning hands and the cooldown is just off by one round. It's also unfortunate that we don't have quick draw yet. Again, cooldown is just off by one round. The reality is probably just need to take a shot. And evac. I don't want to lose Edgar Allan Poe. He will be, he will be severely injured, anyways. These here are explosible uh, casks. Uh, so, just out of curiosity, uh, if we're moving up to here. This here is a huge explosive, um, huge explosive radius. So, Rolling. we can't outrun it. Might as well uh, lure it into the radius. 
and deal enough damage so that we can actually kill it next turn. We might lose the operative. Oh, we're still alive. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. So we know this pack here is down. These here are still faceless ones. Shouldn't trigger them if we move to here. It's a risky move, but I I am hoping that I'm still going to sur uh, survive. All right. This here will take care. The Berserker will take 15 points of damage, 12 from the explosion, uh, no, 14, 12 from the explosion, 2 from the falling damage. It knew exactly where we were going. Nice. We can't outrun it forever. Let's see if we can kill it. 66% chance. Come on. Good job. Solid chance for crit. If we were to crit, I think we could kill this guy. Can't. 50 50. Not revealed. Good. Another shot into full cover. Ooh. Close one, close one. Sweaty hands. Nice. That's exactly what we need. Right now, reload, remote start, and just blow the entire shake. We're overwatching. Fortunately, we missed. A bit closer to the car, please. Six points of damage. I need to 
reload and let's take a shot it's almost dead still not revealed all right stay with the car stay with the car shit What's the explosive radius of the car? Good, so up to here. Fair enough. One of them down. We're probably going to sacrifice our. Um, we're probably going to sacrifice our soldier. We can remote start it and that should do the trick. Let's try to get as far away as possible. Come on, let's miss. Miss, 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 miss. Very interesting. I go where you tell me. All right, reload and shoot, uh, or lure it into the reach of. Let's not take any chances. We're going to lure it into the reach of the remote start. And let's hunker down to, uh, to increase our chances of not getting hit. Really? It's not attacking uh, the unit. That's very interesting. Okay, it is in reach though, which means we're going to move to here. And let's remote start this bastard. Die. <laughs> it's, it's as close as it gets, guys. The charity mission turned tragic today when Advent Outreach Squad. Success sometimes also need, uh, means you're kind of balancing on a knife's edge. And probably Edgar and Poe is going to be really gravely injured, like 50 days-ish. He was almost killed. Good work out there, Commander. Yeah, 43 days, great. Alright, Dragonova. Needle is good with armor piercing. Silent Killer is incredibly good. We might respec um, Dead Eye here. 
for Shredder. For those of you who aren't aware what that mod is, it's the only mod that we're running called I am the Commander. I explained it at the very beginning of uh, the run. Shredder is very helpful for Dragonover, effectively giving her uh, the ability to shred through the armor. Maybe with Needle together, giving additional armor piercing. That might be a thing. I like the idea of additional damage as well. Let's go and maximize our armor piercing. The Silent Killer one is actually quite good, uh, quite good as well for scouting purposes. So we always know where the packs are. I'm almost hesitant to not take it, but Needle is also pretty good. You know what? We are currently well. The towers, uh, the towers indeed have a lot of armor, but I think we do have Shredder, which already negates some of the armor. Let's go with Silent Killer because it's really a very useful tool. And we need to deal with the forty-three days. Faces corpses, berserker corpses. Yeah. That was a successful mission, guys. I like it. Work, Some extra supplies. Continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. And we got some teamwork training. Unfortunately, Edgar Alien Poe also got a negative uh, uh, perk out of it. Well, we need the infirmary very, very soon. This here is just ridiculous how long it takes. We don't need any more intel. Let's get the Avenger power and then increase the healing time. Alright, power plus three is good. Supplies not needed at the moment. We do have a huge supply drop here. Which is even going going to grow more next uh, next month. So being here with the Templar HQ, does that change anything with his healing time at all? Twenty eight days, yeah, well, that's much better. Perfect. Look at that. Proving Ground project, uh, blue screen protocol. We just need to, <laughs> excuse me, build uh, the Proving Ground. Really, really good. We still need plated armor. Let's get, let's get Well, Faces Autopsy would give us Mimic Beacons, and that even happens without uh, the without the Proving Grounds. Uh, Viper and Mutant Autopsy are likewise good, but we need Proving Grounds. So let's start yeah, with that'll... the Faceless one. I still need Plated Armor, but we're short on Alien Alloys, and we've already bought some Alien Alloys from the Black Market, so no chance to buy additional ones. We need to wait four more days. There we go. Overall, a successful month. Sabotage the Avatar. Uh, Avenger is not good. That is okay. Well, this here is bad. This here is okay. Two more weeks until the next facility. And that is bad because it will just speed up the entire Avatar uh, project quite a bit. Soldiers gain 20% more XP. We switched that out uh, for the two Avenger power. 
which by the way we don't need now but the 20% XP are actually quite good uh, and the rest just stays as is So let's get some supplies, some alien alloys, rather. There we go. Cost us 50 intel. Still worth it, because we really need it. All of this is great, but currently not needed. Which means we can finally change, after the 25 hours, we can finally start um, researching. Uh, we can finally start researching the uh, plated armor. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Nice. The two of them now have a bond. So let's take a look at the other covered ops missions. Reduce avatar progress uh, is immediately uh, our number one priority plus hacking is good. I like it. Other than that, we have a couple of health. There is a promotion right here. Um, and uh, the technical advances aren't too bad. Cost of, cost of constructing resistant comms to reduce. That's okay for expansion. I like the promotion more. That's good. Mobility and health. So yeah, we're starting with, of course, the avatar project. Hacking is important for Roby, which also tells us that it's going to be Roby and Magister uh, going on to this mission. Uh, we don't want anyone to be captured, so let's do this. And Roby gets plus four hacking, and we get a reduction in avatar progress. Means we can stall out the game even further. Good. We will also leave uh, the one uh, engineer here. And in 25 hours, we're going to switch for uh, power armor, so we can uh, we can get a better armor. Another important step forward. Perfect. This will allow us to go for mimic beacons. Um, and there is plated armor, not power armor. Plated armor. Send word as soon as we have something of note. Mimic beacons require more faceless corpses. That's okay. We will eventually get there. For now, it's good. Guerrilla Tactics School takes a couple more days, and then we can use finally um, our personal um, PCSs. So that's good. Um, we have two little engineers in order to actually speed it up. So, gotta wait the nine days. Everything else kind of follows our general plan. We're getting the supplies and then we continue healing. Uh, that's exactly why we want to reduce the avatar project. Yeah, and that's a dark VIP mission. Um, plus I think we don't even have enough uh, mm, uh, oh, good soldiers to to I do that mission. However, we do have Dragonova, so we kind of can sneak through it. Um, it will give us supplies, probably not the intel, but maybe we can even pull it off with the intel. Who knows? Um, we're going to do it in the next mission. Thank you so much for watching. It was truly a pleasure so far. And we're still in the race. It's actually going quite well. Uh, we're trying to defeat uh, the, the Avatar project as much as possible for now. Just trying to stay alive. If you liked it, Give it a thumbs up, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, and maybe you leave a comment down below. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.